you gotta be like a cat. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's August 20, 2024. I have a good one for you. A lot of people have problems with joint pain. So I'm gonna show you how I maintain my joints at a youthful level. There are two compounds that people are simply not aware of that are extremely important for joint health. And they are very crucial for the maintenance of keeping your joints young. The two compounds are called lubricin and irisin. Okay, these two compounds, I'm going to show you how to activate them. I'm going to show you five exercises I do. Actually, I do more than this, but I'm going to show you five easier ones that anybody can do that you need to do this two, three, four times a week. And these will activate these two compounds, which are critical to maintain youthful joint health. You can actually avoid osteoarthritis. Maybe you could even fix it. I'm not promising anything. Speak to your doctor. But I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to, I'm going to explain what they are first. Then I'm going to show you the exercises. Okay? You know, as we age, our joints naturally start to wear down, leading to like stiffness, discomfort, and sometimes even pain. You guys know this. However, the good news is that there are ways to slow the process and keep your joints feeling youthful and strong. As I said earlier, there are two specific compounds that play a critical role in joint health, and this is what this video is about. The two compounds are lubricin and irisin. Let me tell you a little about them, and then I will show you some of the exercises that will help with their activation. Okay, let's begin with lubricin. Lubricin is a special protein that acts like a natural lubricant for your joints. Imagine it as the oil in a machine, making sure that the parts move smoothly without friction. You know, they rub against each other. Specifically, lubricin is found in the fluid that surrounds your joints. That's called the synovial fluid, helping to keep everything to moving smoothly, even under pressure. So how do we activate this lubricin? This is how it works. Every time you move a joint, like when you bend your knee, rotate your wrist, or flex your elbow, the surfaces inside the joint slide against each other. This movement naturally stimulates the production and release of lubricin in the joint. Many people don't talk about this. They don't know about it. The next thing that activates it is controlled movement, especially when you move carefully and in control of your movements, like when you land softly after a jump or lower yourself slowly doing a push-up. This is when your joint produces and distributes your lubricant more effectively. This careful control helps you keep joints well lubricated, reducing the risk of wear and tear. So how does lubricant actually help with joint health? Number one, it reduces the friction. When you move, the surfaces of your joints slide against each other. That's what the bones meet. They slide against each other. Lubricin reduces the friction between these two surfaces, especially when the pressure is high and movement is slow. This is crucial for preventing wear and tear on your joints. The next thing it does, it protects your cartilage. Now, many people have problems with their cartilage. The cartilage in your joints act as a cushion between bones. Lubricin helps protect this cartilage from damage by reducing the stress it experiences during movement. It also helps to prevent the cells in the cartilage from dying. It keeps the cartilage from breaking down over a long period of time. I think the cells in the cartilage are called chondrocytes, but I'm not sure. I'm going by memory here. The next thing it does, it prevents inflammation. Lubricin not only lubricates, but also plays a role in preventing the buildup of harmful substances that can lead to joint inflammation. This is extremely important because inflammation can cause pain and lead to further joint problem and damages. You know, you guys know this though. That's the main cause, inflammation. Now let's talk about irisin. Irisin is often called the sports hormone. It is a special protein called a myokine that is released mainly by your muscles during high intensity or power training exercises. It releases it even more. It's an important player in keeping your body healthy, especially as you age. This myokine, irisin, has been associated with numerous health benefits, including improved metabolism, increased energy expenditure, and enhanced joint health. Repeat, joint health. It's critical for joint health. So how does it help for joint health? Most people are aware that regular exercise is crucial for maintaining joint health. And irisin is one of the reasons why. Here's how it works. Number one, it protects your cartilage. Irisin helps improve the support 
the bones provide to cartilage, the tissue that cushions your joints. By promoting the growth and strength of bones, iRisen indirectly supports the cartilage, making it less likely to wear down. The next thing it does, it encourages cell growth. In your joints, iRisen encourages the growth and multiplication of chondrocytes, which are the cells that make up the cartilage. The next thing it does, it reduces inflammation. iRisen helps reduce inflammation in the joints, which is important because inflammation can lead to joint pain and serious damage. It does this by decreasing the release of harmful substances that break down cartilage. So now that I gave you the definition of both lubrizin and irisin, let's get into the exercises that activate these. To maximize both lubrizin and irisin, you must include a towel movement like a plyometric explosive movement and a controlled joint movement together in the same exercise. The controlled joint movement produces lubrizin and the explosive movement produces irisin. This helps your joint health. I'm going to show you a simple exercise. I'm going to do five reps. You can do 10 reps. Whatever you can do, do three sets of this. I'm going to show you the first exercise. I'm going to do it on grass. Do it on a soft surface, a mat or grass. You get in a push-up position. I'm going to show you what happens. You go down. You explode up, up the floor. You leave, you leave the floor. You leave the ground. That's, that's the reason production. The explosive, the plyo. Okay, when you land, try to land in a controlled manner. Try to land in a soft, controlled manner. That produces rising in your joints, in your wrist, your elbow. I'm gonna do five reps for you. Show you what I mean. Double set, you're in the push-up position, okay? You come down, explode. Land softly. 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 Okay? In a controlled manner. Soft. Not hard. Because that doesn't produce lubrizin when you hit hard. It's got to be controlled. The explosiveness is what causes the production of irisin. This helps maintain the health of your joint and your elbow, your wrist, and a little bit on your shoulder. That's just one exercise. Let's go to the next exercise. The next exercise is called the knee twist explosive lunges. You're gonna get in a lunge position. You know how you do explosive when you switch like that? You're gonna do it like this. You're gonna add some to it. The explosiveness, the explosive part, creates the arisen. The landing, well, let me show you. You're gonna twist. You could bend your knee a little to make it easier. You keep it straight, because it's slippery here right now, it's wet. You can knee bend a little bit, and you twist. I'll show you. Watch, this creates the, this creates the lubrizin because you have to land softly. This creates it in your, in your, el I mean, it creates it in your knees, in your hips, it produces it in your hips, your knees, and your ankles. You have to do 10 reps, three sets. I'm gonna do one set for you. First set. Okay, control yourself with your hand. If you need, bend your back knee, back leg a little for more balance. Okay, here we go. The twist, the twist, the twist part. Like that. When you're landing gently and in control, you create more lubrizin. That seriously helps your joints. The explosiveness is what creates the arisen. Let's go to the next exercise. This next exercise is called elbow plank and star jump. You're gonna get on a plank position. Then you're gonna get in a push-up position. Then you're gonna explode up into a star jump. This is a star jump. When you land, try to land softly and in control. The explosiveness creates the arisen. The landing creates 
Landing softly and in control creates the little rising. It's going to help your ankles, your knees, your shoulders, elbows, and wrists. Even 10 reps. Try to do 10 reps. If you can't do 10 reps, just do five. Three sets. I'm going to do one set for you. You get in a plank position. Right? You get in a push up. Jump. Softly. Go back down to the push up position. Get in the plank. Get back in the push up position. Jump. Push up position. Plank. Push up. Got it? Let's go to the next exercise. This next exercise is called the shoulder roll burpee. Listen, I made these up and I gave it a name. The shoulder roll, roll burpee is just what it says. You get in a squat, you roll forward, and you jump. The rolling forward is what gets your joints in your, in your shoulders. It helps lubricate and it helps activate you're rising. You're jumping at the end. I'm going to show you the exercise in a second. I'm explaining. You're jumping at the end is what creates the arisen. I'm going to do, I'm going to do just five reps here. Okay. If you can do three sets, don't. You can do one set of each of these exercises I'm showing. You should work to three sets though. So I'm going to do five reps for you right now. Here we go. You squat, okay? You squat, roll, jump. Control the landing. That's one rep. You squat, jump. It's two sets, two reps. Okay? Control the landing. That creates the rising over here. Squat. Squat. Jump. Land. It's five reps. Remember, this activates the rising in your shoulders, ankles, knees, and hips. Elbows, it gets it all. And I mean, this actually protects your joints. Bear with me, this will help you. Let's go to the last exercise. The last exercise is called the ankle bounce squats. You're gonna get on your heels. I'm gonna do it in the concrete so you can see this. Now I'll do it on the grass. But it's better if I do it sideways in the concrete. You gotta get it on your heel like this, okay? You're gonna squat. And you're going to bounce, keeping your heels up, okay? The bouncing is what activates the arisen, okay? And the continuous bouncing also produces in your ankles and knees, it produces the rising, which protects the joint. This continues even after you're done. You do this, you do this exercise continuously, you will protect your joints. Remember, always speak to a doctor before trying any of the exercises I showed because I don't know if you're fit to do this. So you must figure out if you are fit. You don't have to do all five. You can just do one. And if anyone 
wants me to do the harder exercises, I will gladly make another video with more difficult exercises. These are some of the easier ones. So you're gonna do 10 reps, 10 bounces. You wanna do three sets. Let me show it to you sideways first so you can see this, okay? Get in a squat position with your feet right, shoulder, shoulder width apart. Your feet should be shoulder width apart. I'm showing you close up, okay? So excuse me. Get shoulder width apart, you get on your heels and you get in a squat position. Okay, you bounce, you bounce up and down, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, what they did, because people have asked me if I have any ankle exercises, these are excellent for your ankle joints. They activate both rising and I risen. These two compounds protect your joints. They keep your joints young. And the bouncing on your knees, it also produces in your knees. Okay, this is, you do five sets of those. I'll do one more for you from the front. I'll do it on the grass, okay? You get on your toes, shoulder width apart, you go down like this, and you do 10, 10 hops. Okay, keep your heels off the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You could, you could do more if you can. You actually feel your ankles working. I mean, it feels so good. Next week, I am going to do a video on the cool down after I do these exercises, the special stretching I do. I'm not gonna give it away yet. This special stretching is a must for after you do these, after you do any kind of workouts. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, these are five exercises, five of the easier ones. If you want to see harder ones, just comment below, and I will make another video with more difficult ones. But these five here, not all five of them, but most of them could be done, even people that are just the ordinary shape. You want to protect your joints. These are a must. If you're 30, 35, 40, even if you're older, even if you're older, you must protect your joints. You need to maintain ideal body weight. You need to lose weight if you have to. Joints destroy people. They actually debilitate you. It stops you from working out. It stops you from moving. It stops you from working. It destroys your life. Joint pains destroy your life. Protect your joints at all costs. I am not bragging to you. I have absolutely no joint pain. I can run, jump, Blah, 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 blah. Because I've been doing these kind of exercises my whole life. You need to do them continuously to keep activating these two compounds. You keep activating these two compounds, you won't get arthritis. You won't get none of, none of that stuff that you get during old age. That's the mistake many people make. They go work out in the gym. They avoid joint health. Protect your joints. Have a wonderful day. Let me know if you want to make a video on harder exercises. Also, next week, I'm doing a video on the specific stretching. Stretching. Did you love the stretching? That is crucial for joint health. Crucial. But it must be done after these exercises. Anyway, have a great day. And see you soon in my next video.